Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Dirty Mouse back with some more Alawi gameplay. I've got a, a, a an Odir who's a proxy. Make sure like to subscribe to the channel. Yeah, proxy strats are pretty annoying. Um, they're kind of just like the the default. Like I can't really lane versus you skill wise, so I'm gonna do something you can't uh, combat. Don't go crazy over this. Just sit, wait. The minions will show up, collect. If your jungler can, like they can go kill. But if uh, you know, like Odir's probably gonna just suicide here. We're just gonna hang out. Bing bang. We're gonna prime those. So we just bing. And now we just prime. The melees you don't have to prime. The range you do prime. It looks like he proxied one wave and they kind of like pulled the second wave. I want to hold this. I don't want this to crash. So he wants it to crash. I'm actually gonna pull it a good bit back. There we go. Let it fall back. This actually is gonna slow push, but that's okay. And versus Deer, uh, he's got a Ruby Crystal. Imagine he's, he's either going to go AP or tank. I'm not sure which at the moment. Udir also will probably push pretty easily if he uses his uh, ability when he comes back. <clears throat> but let's we'll see what he does. He didn't get anything off that proxy. Oops. Now, if he's going... I think I'm going to probably go damage item first. The reason for that is... If he goes AP or tank, like if he goes tank, I definitely need some damage. If he goes AP, I mean, do I really want to rush like, I don't know, what would I rush, like Fawn or something? Probably not. It's not really worth it. <coughs> Let's try to pull this up. Try to push this. This big wave is going to act as a deterrent to any like 1v2. You know, if uh, Shaco comes up here, I can use it to kind of kite out and stall and just hope the minions do a lot of damage to kill. Oh my gosh, can't let an E on this guy. Uh, I could go for a cheater recall here. I don't really want to though. I'm gonna actually just use this tempo to go see what Shake goes up to. They will learn or they will die. Oh, I'm so sad. It's actually gonna jump over here. This could be really tricky. I'm gonna stay with E here. Okay, whatever. Kind of awkward. You know, it's kind of a different, uh, different situation to be in. It's just created by the proxy. Yeah, yeah I'm not fighting. I'm not fighting. He's saying, "Yo, don't fight, don't fight." But because we got the push in, we can go do that. You can see, like, if 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 a long extended play happens in the river, because we pushed in, the wave's gonna naturally push back to us. So as long as we're fighting in the river somewhere, we will ultimately get like an advantageous situation. Um, Basically, as long as neither of us are in the lane, it's better for me. Because it's going to push back into me. It's going to deny a lot of minions from Udyr. But I'm not going to lose that many minions. <clears throat> so he's going tank Udyr. Okay, that's good to see. So I definitely need to start with a damage item. Um, Sunfire does have some armor to it. So it's not a bad game for a Black Cleaver. You know, it's going to counter that, that early armor item for sure. What in... That is goofy, man. What do I want to do here? I want to wait till I have some mana for W, I think. No! A little bit scary. Remember, we're melees, we don't have to prep. Nice. Probably a good time to reset. So I could just, I, I probably do, I kind of do still like going tier. It gives me the option of going into a couple of items. That's pretty good back. I'm going to use teleport because he did proxy, so I don't want to lose his minions. Now you need to be a little bit careful. I don't think Udir can stop Yi. Cool. Got level six. I'm going to actually start pushing now because we do have level 6. An ally has been slain. Now, of course, it, I wonder, have y'all noticed, it doesn't actually feel that bad to have this, like, big river. Like, if you play it correctly. Now, of course, this is PvE. I'm playing versus players who are, like, significantly, you know, not playing versus too many challenger players here. So, it definitely needs to take it with a grain of salt. But I still think the way allowing naturally plays, you'll either, like, be under their turret or near your turret. 
And either way, you're you're pretty, I and mean, that's how you want to play Lowry anyways. And you're just incentivized even more to play that way. <clears throat> I'm running Grasp. And and uh, we use qu quick play on PVE. So there's really no like, you don't get to like pick your runes based on your matchup or anything. You just have to pick them before you go in and you're just kind of going blind. I still think the best change I can make is to um, let our tentacles hit twice pre-level 7 on uh, spirits. You see there, actually getting that extra tentacle rotation would have let me kill the spirit. It would have been really handy. Now uh, you're going to see this tentacle is going to hit twice on the right. See that difference? It's the difference between killing that spirit and not killing it. You see here, tier is just so useful right now. See if I can get a demolish proc off. Okay, no demolish proc yet. Replace Cynical. Just slowly whittling down this turret. Be careful here. Don't want to get stunned under turret. Between tier, presence of mind, we get a lot of sustained mana here. Oh my gosh, that's sad. You good, bro? Oh my god, I just want the plate, man. We're up 21 CS right now. A little bit scary, I feel like we're gonna get ganked soon. I'm just, I'm just positioning there a little bit just to make him not want to kill that tentacle. This is a really scary spot. Yep. You're kidding. You're kidding. I shouldn't. I just shouldn't have done that. Why did I do that? I. Why did I do that? Oh, interesting. Uh, Black Clover doesn't build out a Warhammer anymore. Ah, oh, I should have just let it go. I didn't think you would. I didn't think his clone would just kill me like that, considering he's AD, but okay. I was just gonna kill to get out of the way. This is gonna be annoying. I'm really surprised Shaka didn't die. Wow, this is crazy. We should just eat uh, Udyr and kill him. I'm not sure. <laughs> Sorry, we'll, we'll recover. Not a big deal. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna kill him, am I? That is so fun. Did I get my plate at least? I'm not even sure if I got the plate. Oh, this bear. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Did not like taking that turret shot. <sighs> fun time. Yeah, Black Claver is gonna be really important. Actually getting kills on this guy. <clears throat> I, think I, I don't think I'm ready to reset here. I'm a little bit low. I think if I reset, he's going to just end up in a proxy angle, and I don't want him to do that. Okay, he's got Sunfire. So tanky, man. No! There we go. <laughs> cool calm collected, baby. He's not gonna, like, execute himself, is he? Try to try to bait ye, get ye. Come up here. There we go. Okay. Whoo, dude! If your deer does like the shield thing, oh my god, that could have gone really bad. <clears throat> I think I can get a plate here. 
Meteor probably has teleport, but I think I can demolish proc this and take it. Nice. I've got teleport as well. Ah, okay. Curious. <coughs> Excuse me. I think a little bit of a cough. I think I clear this real quick. Get Black Cleaver to come back. He might he might still set up for a proxy, but maybe if he does what I'm gonna do. I don't think I can teleport back to like a minion. Oh I do see Shaker here. Okay. We can teleport to a minion then. He's just gonna run through anyways, yeah. Whatever. How much I can do about that? Actually, I'm gonna go mess with them though. I've got, I've got Yi nearby. This is like an angle where you can do that. There we go. Sometimes, like, you, you can have the angle to go mess with them. You have to just be smart about when do you actually contest the proxy. Annoying. Get a ward there so we can see Shaco go over the wall. <clears throat> Please! Oh, so close. Two tentacles would have done it. That's why two tentacles is so important. We just like, uh, uh, ignore him here. Take the play. It's so fast! This guy, man. I'm so bad! Chick is like kind of near me. He's like top river. You see him? I just need to land one of you. Thank you. You remember we get two tentacle slimes, so we don't have to we don't have to use too much mana or anything. Now because of that one ward we have, I don't think he would know uh, he should have known based on my movement that I placed it, but I could probably wait and see if if like uh Shaco hops over, I could blind E him, that could be kinda sick in his invis. Did he dive angle? Nope. He backed off. If he didn't back off, I would have gone for it. I just don't know where Shaco is. Goody. Oh, and wait! The tentacle! Oh, we got that one. Okay. We got backup. Big. Hmm, I could, like, flash ult here for the kill. Oh! I don't know where uh, Katarina is. I'm a little bit scared of that. The reason I didn't want to flash hold just to deer is because, like, oh, there's Katarina. Because it's just like, does, is it really worth He's already 0 2. I'm up 50 CS. Like, he just, he's not a win con. I want to kill their win con. So, waiting, like, <clears throat> my my intuition there said, don't do it because I can just hold off and there might be something better, like, around the corner if I just wait. And that's exactly what happened. Like, I waited uh, and I got, I got uh, rewarded for it because immediately Shaco shows up as I'm thinking about that. And now it's like, okay, that's a much higher priority target to get the kill on. You know, if I kill Shaco, now my my jungler is free roam. He has priority. My teammates can can play worry free. They don't have to worry about uh, Shaco gangs. My mid can go more aggro and get kills in Katarina. Like all these different things can happen by pulling that pressure junk from jungle. And, and I'm handling Udir and and Shaco at the same time, so my team ends up having an easier path to to them doing well. That's why a lot of times people see me my games and they'll be like hey like my teammates never like are do this well like what the heck i mean it's not fair and it's like well i actually pull a lot of pressure because i play in ways like you just saw that are really useful and help my team out yeah ult up 
I'm gonna go try Holebreaker second. Holebreaker, I think, is a lot worse uh, for like what we wanted it to do than last season because you don't get any resistances from it anymore. So it's not a tank item anymore. It used to be like the item you'd go because at two items you'd have this like really good, well-rounded tank spike, like Bruiser tank spike. <clears throat> but now it's much more of a damage focus item. I was really hoping that would smack and kill a deer as well. Let's see, Shaco's bot. Um, the only person I don't know is... Uh, well, I see everyone, actually. Ah! I'm probably, like, way over saying, but... Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Wait. I'll let you get it. It's fine. Wait, did I get local gold? I, I don't know. I'd have to look at the bot. <laughs> uh, we don't have Iceborne Gauntlet yet, so finishing tier actually isn't that great. Do I even want Iceborne Gauntlet? Um, let's not build it this game. So we're not actually going to finish this tier. I want to get to this item. Um, do this. Bing, bang. We'll eventually end up selling tier. <laughs> and that's okay. Like, that's okay. It's okay to buy this item and then sell it. You want to know why? Look how much gold do you lose. Uh, you buy it for 400. You sell it for 280. I basically I basically am giving 120 gold to have no mana issues for the last 14 minutes of the game. Or whenever I bought it. Not 14 minutes, but um, probably like 12 minutes of the game. I spent 120 gold. Like, and, and I had endless options because I had so much mana. And I needed that mana because Udyr was so tanky. It really is not a big deal at all. Like, I got so much more value out of it than 120 gold. So I'm, I'm perfectly happy to sell it and just be done with it. Until the, until I need to sell it, I'm going to hold on to it. So Until it's like a, a substantial item upgrade, we'll hold on to it. Because <clears throat> it does give us a lot of utility. Yeah, so Hole Breaker, now you get like every like uh, six auto, you get like a big burst on an objective. Such as turret. Or a champion. So you see there, it's like a boom. Like, I just smacked that spirit. You can actually build it up on the spirit. You can build it up on anything. Just autoing these dudes. You see the little stack here. Uh, I don't really like you very much. Oh, cool. Okay, you're going to just let me kill you, I guess. I could ult here, but... Hmm. You still get the empowered minion. <laughs> that was really nice. So whatever. I don't have flash, so I'm kind of playing a little bit more scared because I, I can easily die here with their uh, like their range champions around. Please, 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 please! Ooh. Oh my god! I'm so glad he doesn't have uh, Leandrius. I thought I thought he did. I'm so used to like every Udir ever having Leandrius. And I just die there. <laughs> Alright, I need to start working on the bot. Because I want to get that bot too, too. Uh, see, like, here... Yeah, I think... You know, I'd rather keep the tier for now. Like, I could sell it for a Ruby Crystal. But I'd rather have 360 mana or, four, or 150 health. I'll take the mana. <laughs> you see, Presence of Mind has done a ton of work. Giving me a great amount of mana. I'm really happy with that. Ma the Presence of Mind combos with our mana trick. Which I'll eventually make a video on. To be real helpful. I'm not, probably not going to cover it right now. But basically, if you have no mana, if you have just enough mana for one ability, you can cast your W in the middle of your any of your other abilities and get it for free, in theory. <laughs> I was really concerned with this game when I died at the first step. <laughs> I think I made that in yesterday's video, too, against that. I was like, ah, I don't know, man. And then I, I still managed to turn it around. Really good. Really good to have that resiliency. Now, I should never land any here. And you see, I didn't. So, rip. Hopefully, does still give us some move speed. She was really good. You go for the sure thing here. Kill the spirit. Oh my god, she shredded me. She got a really good crit. Yeah, she did so much damage. <laughs> yeah, pretty annoying. 
Okay, here I will sell this to get this. Yes. Yeah, like you see, like this Caitlyn's not like necessarily playing well. You just you just need to have flash to get on top of uh, you know a range ADC. I mean, they're just made to to take you out. The crux of being a Lawa. It is what it is. Now, in theory, she shouldn't be bought. Um, she should be mid with her support. But whatever. Uh, she goes right there. <laughs> cool, we got Drake Con. Oh my god, that is a very aggressive. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, nice Janar. Very well done. Let me go bot. Let me go bot. Let me go bot. I want to go bot. I want to push this bot lane really far out. And I want to... No, do not go bot. I need to go bot. Hey, get away from bot. Hey, stop that. Hey. Yeah, so what? Every six auto, we get a big boost of damage. <clears throat> Increase, so 530 plus 260 bonus physical damage against structures. Oh, hello. Yeah, I don't really care. I'm not gonna go run around the world for a Shaco. <clears throat> Shakos are like Singe, where like you really just should not. Should not bother playing their game. Watch one, two, three, four. That was demolished five. Look at that. Fifth auto. The fifth auto did a lot of damage. Oh. Man, why y'all gotta do this, man? Leave me alone. Like, why do they have three buy, you know? I do have flash auto. Oh, they want it. I'm bad. Okay, you know what? I'm just dead. Okay. Okay, they said four bot. All right, whatever. You got me. I missed my E. She jumped to minion. Whatever. They had five bot. All right, whatever. <clears throat> you got me, guys. You guys, you got me. All right. All right, take damage from everyone. All right. Uh, what do we want next? Uh, some movement speed would be really nice, actually. Deadman's Plate did get buffed to where it gives you some more, like, uh, movement slow re effects are reduced by 25%. So, I think this will be good. It'll give me armor. It'll give me some movement speed. Because this Caitlyn is being, like, really obnoxious. So. Kind of an awkward amount of gold here. Now, in theory, like, they shouldn't have been able to five-man bot me. We should have been taking Baron, but whatever. We're actually just playing to the Drake at this point. <clears throat> I mean... Yeah, I'll go bot. How's this done? Does it tell us? That doesn't tell us. Old Breaker, yeah, I haven't been too thrilled with it, I'll be honest. Which is... What I expect. I kind of wanted to go it just to show that I went it in a video. Uh, I don't think it's very good. I don't think it's. I don't think it's done anything to actually like increase my win conditions at all. Or make anything I do better. Oh. Oops. I just leveled up my W instead of my R. Let's go. <laughs> if one needs to go stop her, not me. At 25 minutes, we do get a candle wave, I think, every wave now, which will be really useful. <laughs> yeah, this is really goofy. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know why Caitlyn just got the push bot for free. Meteor has been successfully annoying this whole game. I don't really want to hit him, because he has hold or, uh, thorn mount. Reduce my healing. I don't like that. Yeah, he's gonna go proxy. I'm gonna anytime power this I can and make it tank here. I need to kill him. Pretty good. What the, what, what is that over my head? I thought it was a Caitlyn R incoming. 
I don't know what that was. Was it this? Yeah, it was this. Oh, that's weird. Okay. How do we go? Game is pressuring Baron this time, because I killed two people and I drew a third. That's really good. Drake's gonna spawn though. I'd really would rather we be able to stop him. I can teleport, but I mean Shaco's on it right now. Run, run, run! Yes, good, good, good. I heard a teleport. Oh, that's bad. <clears throat> they definitely get it. Oh wait! Shaco's taking it really slowly. Do have anything to teleport to? Not really. Good. <laughs> Alright, it's all you, baby. Oh my god, this is crazy, man. Oh, good, use down. I mean, uh, shake his down. Big! Can we get this? Big! Oh, collect the feathers. Yeah. Caitlin's like tilted. She's like just perma split pushing. It's good to see. Oh my god, wait, he got rolled. Wait, do I really care? I'll let, I'll let Yone deal with it. <laughs> I want to push. Yone should kill there. Oh, what? He didn't. Wait, how did Yone not kill? What? Weird. Alright, big fight here. If you go for a big fight. I don't use my dead man's on purpose. No! He didn't die! No! How did Udyr not die, man? Oh, that flash shot wasn't really good. I don't know why Senna ran on... I, I, was, I was expecting Senna to not just go melee range on me. And she did. And then Katarina was like playing really far away. Okay, good. Uh, what do I want next? You feel like a Jack Show angle. And we have a lot of health. Um, we don't have a ton of resistances, actually. An enemy has been slain. I think Jack Chow makes a lot of sense. Oh my gosh. <coughs> Shut down. Oh no. Yone has to use uh, Q3 with E, like... Oh! Oh, big! I think it double in him. Yeah, it really sucks to waste Flash like that, though. Because that's really my only saving grace against, like, Caitlyn. Okay, we got two enemies down. Our inhib should respawn soon, so we'll have a two inhib advantage. No, I'm not gonna get it. Please. Oh, I did. Yeah, I'm keeping the movement speed on Dead Man's fight on purpose. Not, didn't go as well as I would have hoped. Not bad though. Dude! Range champions. Big care. Oh my god, look at all the little dudes. Look at them, look at them go. Get this, please.
Um, the little dudes helped, I think. Good job, little dude. Maybe <coughs> kill here. Big gun. Big? Not big. Small. Big. No! Which one was it? That one! Kill him! Dude, just let it go, man. It's over. It's over. It's over, man. A full build now. It's not a bad build. I definitely would drop Holebreaker. Holebreaker, I just... The thing with Holebreaker is, like, I would probably just be better off with, like, a different item. Because at, at this point, it's just about winning these, like, 1v3s and 1v4s. I just think another item would just do better. Like, I don't need the extra damage. I don't need the extra turret-taking capability. Because turret-taking tempo just derives from your ability to out-team fight, out-fight people. I don't think I actually teleport here, do I? Then we go Baron. Oh, I should watch for the back door. We have, what, 45 seconds? We could probably force Baron. Wait for everyone to come out, and then I go in. And actually, Holebreaker will be nice, because then I'll get the extra Nexus killing damage. <clears throat> Let's go there. We should take Baron. If they come out, I can end. If not, we take Baron and uh, Elder. How much time do we have left on this? 20 seconds. I'm going to teleport right before that runs out, actually. No important. No shot, dude. But why? Why is she in base? That's so troll. Why isn't she an elder, man? And like, actually, she was the worst person to show up at that one spot at that exact moment. Wow. I might actually lose because of that. Oh no. Oh, the misery. I need to wait till this fight started, and I should have teleported. That is unbelievable. Winions? But why? Why is Kaelin in base? It doesn't make sense. Oh no. All right, we gotta we gotta wait Elder out. Oh my gosh, these games. Gotta wait out Elder. <clears throat> bing bang bong. Oh my god, look at all these. Holy moly. Hey yo. He might fight me. I think I can kill him. Be a little careful though. Okay, Chick is not here. That's not good. That's not good. This is good. Eat. Oh no. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh, what the heck? Should we an ult? Should we an ult? Big. Okay. A little clunky, but he got there. How much damage did we take? 6,100? Hmm. That includes an execute. Oh my god, look at that execute. 1,500 damage from the execute. Wow. That's wild. Alright, I'm gonna slip bot. Did I buy a potion? I didn't. Oops. Hey, careful there. Up there, not being careful. Good Janna are, but... <clears throat> hmm. There is joy in food. Let's see if I can just pressure him. Okay, good job, Yone. Kaelin's still down. She will be up to defend against me, though, which is the worst outcome. This guy soon. Yep. Get these minions out of the way. Oh, whoa. And cut out a little bit. I've been trying not to hit him because he does have a Bramble Vest, so... Nice. Oh my gosh, what a tough game. I cannot believe Caitlyn was there for that Tele, though. Holy... Yeah, this game should not go that long. That's just like... Like, you'll never see a game like that in Hyula because we would have closed out the game way cleaner. Just, um... We would have cleared it out before the Baron slash Drake. Wow. I'm curious what the damage charts will be like. Let's go. Big damage. Yeah, we kind of just got sawed out by, by Caitlyn, honestly. <laughs> Built's fine. Again, I would drop Holebreaker for sure for something else. I just I just don't think it helps that much. Wow, look at the... Wait, hold up. Look at that. We had 6 hit gold lead. And, I'll, and threw it back. Big gold lead here. By 20 minutes, we had a... Almost 4k gold lead. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see y'all next time.